we've got the ingredients. We've seen uh, Minky van Vestazen and Fanny de Villiers dash around downstairs. They've got all the, all the ingredients to put together this amazing chicken korma dish. We're going to be using the Henwell uh, chicken breast. They're going to be accompanied and joined by Chef uh, Amaray with her expertise and showing them what to do. Um, over to Fanny and uh, Minky, but before I do that, um, I just want to ask you, Minky, from the coming from Salamosh, yes. which wine would uh, would uh, complement a chicken korma? Uh, Warren, you know, these days, as you know in our society, any and everything goes. <laughs> so there's no right and wrong anymore, it's only a preference. Okay. Um, I would prefer a white wine okay. because it's lighter, the curry can be quite uh, full of flavor, so I would prefer a white wine. I see you're well prepared. Well, I'm going but to there's nothing I'm going to wrong you. with it's having funny. even a Pinot Noir or a Cinso or, or a light Syrah with this uh, meal as because well. It was very because noticeable that your wingman, when you were doing the, the uh, trolley dish, was very quick and you to mm -hmm. pick up the little white wine. There's lots of wine in a curry dish. And I'm sure Chef Amaray has also allowed some white wine as well. I see two glasses here. Thanks, Warren. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we are going on. So we've got much excitement with the chicken korma that we're making today. Um, Fanny, you've got some nostalgia with this recipe? Absolutely. Um, spend a lot of time playing cricket in England. And okay. obviously if you go to the Asian restaurants there, they, they've got this Pakistani pasanda and Pakistani korma, which are the two um, sweeter curry dishes that doesn't give you any uh, afterburn or burn. And that's serious. And, and, and what I found over the years, uh, it's a family friendly mm, Because most, okay. most families are struggling with the kids, yes. um, struggling with the chili side and the, and the hot side. And mm. This yeah. is a sweet curry dish that's just mm. absolutely fantastic and great. That's great. Yes. So, are we starting with the chicken? Yes. So, uh, Fanny, let's get you starting with this. Um, we're going to start with the onions, so the mm. base of the, the curry dish. Quite often, um, you can add that in and start frying that. Got the olive oil already in. Yes, we're, we're working with the canola or sunflower oil, uh, just because it's a bit more neutral. Olive oil has a distinct taste and doesn't always go well with curries, but anything goes. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do a double portion? It looks like a double portion. Yes, yeah. yes. So we've got two onions in there. And quite often with curries, they first start by toasting their spices dry. Mm. Um, but because we're making a creamy, creamy korma, it's also it's a family dish. It's quick, it's easy, it's one pot. We're going to start by sautéing the onions and just add in our Crown National... Um, curry yes, mix? Yes, curry mix. Our mm. Crown National mm. yellow curry mix. Okay, mm. now a lot of families haven't got access to all the different kind of spices and it's difficult obviously to get those those uh, Asian Flavors. kind of spices together. They call that a masala and a lot of times I mean in our in our house we we kind of buy the the, the combined mixed grind uh, yes. masala that's obviously the combined effort of a korma. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And you've gone you've gone the better way in other words. Absolutely. So Minky what what spices can you recognize here? So this is cinnamon it's bark. Better. That is, uh, okay. this is a, um, the stara nice, I don't know, yes, yes. but it's in English, it's not aniseed, star aniseed, uh, sa um, bay, bay leaves, bay leaves yes. um, lurir, this is cumin seeds and cardamom seeds, and there's another one there. Interesting, interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Which is those little seeds, what do you call those little seeds? Sorry? It's cumin, isn't it? It's a cumin. So we've got, some, we've got some cumin, fennel. Oh, um, fennel. And cardamom. Mm. If you walk into the plains in Pakistan, especially... It smells like this. <laughs> Minky, they, honestly, they walk around with a bowl, yeah. and everybody holds their hand. Okay. And they put these little seeds yeah. into your hand, and you just put it in your mouth. Mm. Oh, and you chew the it. The start of a flight in Pakistan. Okay. Yeah. So everybody yeah. chews it, and you can taste it. It's a How wonderful it like? It's probably like a mm. breath uh, refresher. Yeah, obviously, it obviously makes a big difference. Yes, yes, yes. And it's wonderful. I've never seen it's it in South Africa or anywhere in the world. It's a lingerie taste. That's true, that's true. And yeah. they literally got a little spoon, and they give everybody a spoon right through to the back of the plate. I wonder oh, what wow. this and then you, you, you take off. That's incredible. That's a smart idea. So we've, we've displayed these spices here because um, with the Crown National Yellow Curry Mix, obviously these spices would be in here. So mm. it's, it's usually a basic masala, basic uh, curry powder, would have some cinnamon, would have some star anise, bay mm -hmm. leaves. So it's just really to get those fragrant uh, curry mm. spices in. And then of course, uh, Yellow Curry Mix would have some turmeric in. Absolutely. Yes, yes. You know the difference between Afrikaans kitchen 
and the probably <laughs> higher society kitchen, here the thing is high society, here is your table. That's what we always use. Okay, so you feel more comfortable Absolutely. with it. Yes, mama, you can't say anything, but you don't have a pack. Yes, yes. That was a name for the kitchen, right? Yes. Maas a plak of wat a plak. When you name your wooden spoon, you know there's a problem. <laughs> I had a youngster came to me many, many years back saying that I was my whole, uh, whole life at school scared of you. And I said, yeah. why? He said, the teacher yeah. had a little cricket bat that said Vinnige Fani on it. And he used to hit us with it. <laughs> oh, so everybody shiner. was scared of Vinnige Fani. Yeah, when you get a wooden a spoon one. or cricket bat that's given exactly. a first name and a yes. surname, you know, <laughs> yeah, then you there's know. trouble. But we're talking about this being a family-friendly uh, dish. And I yes. think, mm -hmm. obviously, I have young children that I'm still introducing to lots of different foods and food yes. cultures and, and flavors. And I think a very good idea, well, I've found to introduce them to curry or curry-like recipe is baburti. And they love yes. baburti because it's mm. got a lot of the same. It's got the curry, mm. it's got the turmeric, it's got all those flavors. And it's also got the choice of not making it flat. That's true. That's true. And you can also add the raisins or not. There's a lot of when options. When are we going to start doing this now? So um, with the onions, we're going to add the garlic and some ginger. We're doubling this recipe because we're using a full pack of Henwell um, fresh chicken breast. It's mm -hmm. almost about a kilogram. Um, so add a big generous teaspoon of the garlic and then we'll add half of the ginger in there. Mm -mm -mm. And, and as Fanny mentioned, you can also add some chili at this stage, but because we're making it family friendly, we're going to omit the, the okay. chili entirely. We can do this now. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Ginger, we don't really put ginger in, so obviously ginger's got that... Uh, sweet. In yes. Isn't it ginger sweet as well? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's slightly sweet, you're right, and it's, it's got a very interesting depth that it adds mm. to a curry. Also a big half what? Half of that would half be great, that, yeah. yeah. You'll see the not everything is precisely chopped or extremely fine because we're going to blend the sauce to have a smooth curry korma. Um, mm. So we're not too worried about the prep, how specific that needs to be. It would be interesting to see in the packages you buy, the, uh, the grinded stuff, the masalas, mm. if you want to call, because you get the name korma on it. Yes, um, yes, yes. How much of ginger will be in there and how much yeah. of this? And the surely ratio. that's already inside. Am I right? Yes, yes, But yes. if you want to do it properly, that's going to be the recipe in the book. Absolutely. With, if you want to do your own. Yes, to make your own sort of masala or curry spice. Yeah. All of these kormas are it's sort of convenience food. So if you want to make any curry spice, you just sort of go pick them. But with a Crown National yellow curry mix, we can diversify our curries. Interestingly, looking at the almonds and the, or the, the mm. nuts for, as such, we're going to grind all this into a fine, yes. to a fine mix, am I right? Because that's a soft taste that Korma gives you. Mm, absolutely. Okay? So we're going to add our curry spice. I would say about, I'll give this to you, Minky. Okay. Add a table, grab a tablespoon there. And you can add at least um, two oh, heaped two. teaspoons, two to three. As we're doubling this recipe, we want to make Oopsie. sure it's very fragrant. It's okay if the bay leaf goes in. That's great, that's great. And Chef Amore, that's, what, that's the curry spice? Yes, yes. Okay. So um, we're using the Crown National Yellow Curry Spice. Um, we tried it a few days ago in this, in this korma recipe. It's really got that turmeric, has yeah. that really nice korma taste coming through. But that's not a hot curry, is it, as such? On, no. Or, okay, all right. No, no, no. Now it's dry, it needs some juice yes, or something. Yes, what are we yes, putting great. in? So we've got some chicken stock that's going to start adding the, that one. the juice. Can I start adding it? Absolutely. When do you do the bay leaves? We, we've there got is some one bay in leaves there. in there. Okay, you can put it more in like if you want. It looks like a little garnish more. You can it put is. more in. But we'll blend the bay leaf in there with the whole curry. It will give some nice taste. So what we're doing now is deglazing the pan. Yes, yes, yes. It's very impressive. Uh, what is that in Afrikaans? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Maybe you can grab the brand of the bottom of the pan. You can make the pan fail. Yeah. And then we've also got some tomato puree right that's there. That's also going in. That's going in. Everything. Everything. Great. The is one that? thing that I'm interested in later is uh, the amount of, of sweetener that we're going to put in. Obviously, yes. the... The, 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 the Indians use coconut and coconut oil to try and sweeten the mm, dish. Mm, mm. And then the grind coconut over the top. Yes, uh, yes. Where the Pakistanis use uh, bloodyans, all the different sweet kind of bloodyans, whatever they okay. whatever they call it. And you're sure you've got it the right way around? I think so. With <laughs> sure. palm trees around the Indian <laughs> coast, I think I've got it. I actually had a look. I had to Google. Okay. 
Yeah. And then you're we also... The than no, 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 his geography as he's travelling. Yes. At this stage, we want to add some more moisture in there. Yes. To blend the sauce properly. So we've got some cream there. And we're also going to... This is gonna, just normal cream. That's normal cream. So we can always Oopsie. use uh, coconut cream, coconut milk. Um, anything to really get that sauciness and creaminess for the korma. And then we've also got our almonds, which is growing in. Okay. And that's going to blend with the sauce. Look how cute it is. It's a here. We can add that whole pot of almonds. It's about 200 grams, yes. That's a lot of almonds. Yes. And you chop, did yeah. you chop all those up or were they pre -cut? No, you buy them like that. pre <laughs> Someone else <laughs> chopped it up skill. for us. Hey, that would be a, a skill. That is not a chef's question, that is it? <laughs> There's no time for that. Because it's glad. Well, thank you. You see, there is the color that I'm looking for. Fanny, it's so lekker om so much your cost to make. Mais, Scott, hierdie gaan lekker. Jy werk so hard in die kombuis. Jy werk so hard in die kombuis. Jy werk so hard in die kombuis. Jy drie duim langer groei, as gevolg van hierdie. Asai, asai. Wel, daar is potentiaal, want hulle papa is lang. So. You look very comfortable in the kitchen there, Fanny. Especially with a glass of wine. I think, um, I think it's very seldom that I do the wine thing. Don't drink wine. I do, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm not a connoisseur, but. What is your preferred weapon of choice? Um, I'm not the best, to be honest, but I love ah. a beer. Okay. Most of us. Most of us okay. love a beer. And it's yes. honest, honestly just when you're really thirsty. So outside brying, a beer tastes much better than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does for some <laughs> reason, but I'm on the, I'm on the beer. I'm on the beer. Okay. Quality so beer as well. Can you? Put some on. So as we go, we're definitely just going to keep on looking at the consistency of the, the curry. You can always uh, thin it out with some more cream or some extra chicken stock. Ah. The thing about this dish, I can tell you now, even if you're full, you're going to have a second helping. Love, yes. <laughs> Hence the reason to, that you try and get it uh, as much as possible uh, kind of kind of liquidish, if you want to call it that. Mm, mm, mm. Because you need that sauce to go into the rice or the roti or whatever you eat it with. That's true. And and we'll see how lovely the, the Hainwell chicken breast is just going to cook in this rich sauce. Okay, now so that's important. Putting the Chicken into the sauce? Yes, so we're first going to blend our sauce now, put it back into our pan, and then we're going to add our Hennel fresh chicken okay. breast. Now the question is, and, and, and honestly before we started this, I, I popped her the question. I've had, I've had korma dishes and even sometimes the, the chicken, you know the butter chicken yeah, that yeah, you sometimes yeah. get, which is more Indian dish. I've had that at different places and some of the places, <laughs> the, the chicken is so soft that it melts in your mouth. Wow. And the only way to get it that way is to use chicken thighs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is to marinate it in oh. either in either curry milk or or your oh. your. Uh, what, you before you what cook yet? it. Yogurt. Oh, yeah, yogurt. But that's yeah, not ideal. Before yogurt, and that or makes um, it soft, and it gives you that taste. Oh wow! That soft taste, that yeah. melting. But taste. that also means planning, which is not great for a mom <laughs> with three daughters, because I'm only this morning thinking about what I'm cooking this evening. Yes, that's yes, yes, I'm yes. sure that can be a problem. <laughs> Uh, of course, the, the Henwell chicken breasts are vacuum packed, so um, because it's vacuum packed, it sort of locks in all that juices and, and freshness. Mm. So you've already got quite a nice, like, moist product to work with. Mm. And uh, if you don't have time to marinate it... Can I get eight goi? Yes. It's warm in the pan, eh? It's warm in the pan. It's fine. It's not, it's not like a dick. No, it's a hard warm pan. Yeah. I'm going to say, look, I'm going to put my fingers. All right. Yeah. Okay, let us a bit of wine drink of Ronnie. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make op, some op, noise here. Op, 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 um, but this is safe enough. It's not. It's not too hot, so we're blending it while it's still warming yeah. up. Yeah, I'm still worried about when we're going to put the sweet bit in that gets the kids to eat it more. The chutney. Yes, yes. Well, um, as we go now, we're going to taste for salt and sweetness, and, and you're going to adjust it as you prefer it. Okay, so obviously you can do more or less. Yes, mm. yes. One but more. But you don't bit. do it earlier. You can if you want. You can. You can. Let's have a look. What do you think? Fine. Looks creamy to me. Almost looks like a soup. It does. That's exactly what you want. Absolutely. 
And of course, as we add the chicken now, it's gonna thicken up again. So we don't need to worry that it's too thin. There you know what's actually amazing? I'm sitting here probably two meters away from that dish and I can already pick up the aromas that's, and the, that's the, Asian. And the smell. It's just it, it, it smells delicious already. But yes, that's the like Asian is. kind of aroma that incredible. I've experienced in India and Pakistan. Yeah. Like you cannot believe you go through those markets. Yeah. You need to get a it's fish a market to take it's the smell away. Yeah, yeah. But those smells are just beautiful. It's amazing. That's fantastic. We haven't got a clue, in actual yeah. fact, the way we, the way we cook. Mm. Unless, uh, unless the that you specialize in, kind in, a, of in, in, a, in a broth like yeah, But also, okay. you think it's complicated, but it's not. I think we overcomplicate. Yes, if you yes. look at this, it's not complicated. It is not. If you have the right ingredients, then... And the good thing about this, if you want to make it uh, 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 um, more liquidish, you just put milk in there. You don't mm, have to put another course, yes. bowl of cream in. Okay, so is the chicken going in? Time for the chicken. So, okay. funny, if you want to lift up the chicken and add it to our pot. So you, you, don't, you don't do the chicken in a bit of oil before to close it up or to keep the moisture in. You just cut it dry, like it is. And, and Marinade? There's two ways, really, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. So we can first sear the, the chicken breast and then cut it and add it. But because we want a very soft uh, we don't chicken do that. tender, we're marinating it and just adding it to our sauce. Hence the reason it's probably going to be softer. Am Absolutely, right? yes, yes. And that marinade is a yogurt, am I right? Yes, so you or can use uh, cutting milk, amazi. Yeah. Uh, anything that's got a bit of sourness or tanginess okay. to it is going to soften it. Or for that matter, it. a lot of bacteria that can eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So that, the cooking of this chicken is actually going to happen in the boiling of the soy sauce. Yes, yes, yes okay. yeah. And of course, we haven't added any salt or, as uh, Fani asked, some some chutney. So now would be a good time to start playing around with the salt and pepper. There's our salt. Our Far taste away there. teaspoons is it this big one? Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> salt. Let's check this heat. We'll obviously gonna 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 taste it first. And it's important to taste it because a lot of those packets that you buy, the masalas that you buy already grinded, has got some of salt, the sodium salt, and salt, salt and whatever. Yes, that's true, that's true. Yeah, so see, we keep brewing. Yeah, brewing, brewing, brewing. And I forgot to make them Sorry, take it full. So we can definitely close this pot up and just allow the chicken to start simmering in that sauce while okay. we get started with our sides. Okay. Would you like to add some, some salt? Absolutely, what do you think? and I okay. want to add about everything of that, to be honest. All the chicken. Okay, okay. To get that sweet taste, because that's what the yes. kids enjoy. Okay, great. And a lot of people are going to fight against it, most probably because of sugar. And I'm telling you now, they're burning enough energy, they can have some sugar. Yes, yes, it's Too your curry. Too many people taking sugar so out So you can houses. add it. You can add it. I'm going to do a little bit of salt. I will you I die curry smart brunette. We're definitely going to have a different taste once the chicken is cooked through. Oh, wow. Our sauce is going to change again. Yeah, yeah. And you can taste the, the creaminess is giving some sweetness to the dish already. Curry smoke to brew. The smell. Right through that salt. It's going to have a salty bite. It's going to have a bit of a salty bite. <laughs> can I, and I can put now, obviously, the. Yes, yes, yes. The chutney in. Man, that's chutney just, just by Let's go mm. half first. You can almost eat that just by itself. Yes, it's lovely. Yeah, but there's no soot in Very lacquer. There's no quality. Mm. Mm. Great, yeah, yeah. We've and got a full pot. And the beauty of it is it can be at, at taste. Yes, yeah. the yes. The way you want to do it. It's that nutty mixture as well. Eh? Mm. That, can you that, taste the almonds? Taste no, it is fantastic. The almonds is also creamy. It's fantastic. You, mm. can, you can work with almonds. Uh, cashews also work really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can use cashews or almonds if yes. you chose them for or garnish. Both. Or both. Yeah, Absolutely. to garnish. What I like of this is it's got a, it's got a beautiful color. And yeah. even on your plate, I promise you, it looks better. It looks tastier than your normal dark curries that, yeah. that you get down in Durban. Yeah, it yeah. just looks good. It's that feeling that you get when you, when you do the, the, uh, the well-known um, uh, the other chicken dish that I mentioned earlier. Butter chicken. Your butter or chicken. Or yeah, butter that's chicken. Chicken. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so great. what sides are we doing? I already see a, s a sambal, or what do you call it? Yes, absolutely. A sambal or a raita sometimes. A raita, yeah. We've got some chopped uh, tomatoes there, onions and parsley. I often like using coriander. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we want to go for a, a more neutral taste with mm -hmm. our curry. So finally, we've uh, used parsley there. And I think all we want to add is some extra acidity because our dish is sweet and it's already quite rich. We want to cut the raita through with a bit of lemon juice. So we can start mixing that. And funny, you can cut up the lemon for us and just add it into our sambal. There you go. Sambal, that's a hell of a word for that one. That's a big, it's a big word. It's a big, it's a big word like mama. That's a big word. Yeah, big word. I really so, enjoy curries, all the spices, it mm. really, the spices are so good for our meat system, system, especially during winter. I'm going to go to the house. With other words, it's going to be a big deal, so it's going to be a big deal. Oh, you're going to go to the house. Oh, you're going to go to the house. Let's try this one. Thank you. You can come with the cup. Oh, you're sterk. And any sort of vinegar is great. Lemon juice is, is lovely now because we have so much lovely fresh ingredients. But any apple cider vinegar, um, normal grape vinegar would be great in this sambal. Oh, okay. Lovely. The Indians do a lot of chili pieces into this kind of salad on the side. If you want to call it sides or salad, don't they? Yes. Especially yes. With, your, with your proper proper dishes around the cricket fields in Durban. Actually, kings me. Yep. You, we, we cannot wait, not to go and play cricket, we cannot wait for the curry. Yeah, no, the curry's great. And it's they've got the rotis and they've got the okay. everything. And you learn oh, in Durban best. quickly. Absolutely. And so I grew up, do you leave those, uh, the seeds of the yeah, lemon in there? Yeah, it makes an take it interesting out. conversation if someone bites on it. because yeah, that's not the great part. <laughs> but lemon is such a healthy... Uh, it's full of vitamin C, right? It's very, very good. Yeah. What else are we putting to this? Nothing. Only the fresh... Lemon. Only, only the lemon. And as uh, Fanny said, if you want to add some chili in now, that would also okay, be great. Could. Extra crunch. A lot of people grind the outside of the lemon. The oh, zest. zest. Yes, yes. Oh, you that's could easily use the zest for extra flavor. You can even add that into your curry sauce. I'm sure that would can. add some, some great texture. Let's check this. So we can, here our sauce is boiling away. Mm -hmm. And these, these uh, chicken breasts are so quick and easy because we've already pre-cut them into small blocks. We're leaving it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. We don't need to cook it for hours. The, the vacuum-packed fresh chicken breasts are so tender already. We mm. can just leave it in so it cooks through and we're mm. ready to go. How do you know when the chicken's cooked there? Because obviously now you've got it in that yellow, beautiful, ar aromatic... Um, curry paste. Yes, yes. But you can't see the, the color of the skin. So mm. how do you know that, okay, I've got this chicken that's been cooked? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we'll, we'll start seeing the chicken is more solid, yeah. white, and we'll start feeling the texture. It's not, okay. it's not droopy anymore. It's like a firm piece of protein. It's great to, to close your sauce pot. We can, we can see how the sauce is bubbling yes, over. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so, um, so we've got the sides. We've got the sides. We've got some cooked basmati rice here. Are we going to warm up the rutis or the what yes. do you call that? Yes, so quite often rutis aren't always easily available. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to make a quick rati or you can even make a quick naan. Um, we're going to heat up a nonstick pan mm -hmm. just with a bit of uh, butter and parsley. You can also add some garlic. And then we're just going to toast our wraps in that, that batter. Just a normal wrap? Yes. A normal wrap? Yes, yes. Come on. Honestly, normal wraps are terrible sometimes if it's as dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that buttery taste, you can see the difference. Yes, yes. And rotis are quite often made with a, with a lot of fat in them, so it's yeah. got that, like, teary yeah, yeah. and soft taste to it. So now we just want something easy to, to dip through our curry. So a roti is a roti. Afrikaans and English, the same here. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course, I say roti. It's like my boy when I said, uh, what is, you know, the African yeah, the roti roti. The English in the house going, I said to my young boy one day, um, uh, Opa Brown, what is it in English? And he said, Opa Bram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just roll the so R. So we kind of, we kind of uh, yeah. just changed the, the just, accent. It's, so yeah. it's looking good. Okay, so I'm also right. adding parsley to this, right? Yeah, a small sprinkle of parsley. And then I think we'll add some garlic. Mm. This is now to gear up a roti. Yes. All right. So we've got most of our elements done. We've got our rice to serve our curry with. We have our sambal. And then um, Fanny's going to choose how we're going to dress it with some extra flaked onions. I love the, I love the, uh, the flaked, flaked almonds. Flakes. Yeah. No, the flakes almond of flakes. the uh, coconut. 
Coconut. Oh, coconut would top. be world class. Oh, little yeah, yeah. flakes mm. of coconut mm. over the top. It's fantastic. And I've uh, I've pre-toasted them. When you when you work with a raw product, it's not that That's intense tasty. flavor is not yeah, coming through. So I lightly it. toasted it on the pan, the the almonds and the coconut. And you can even do a little bit of coconut within that um, in the pan, can't you? You can, you can. Underneath the wrap. With your wrap. Mm. If you want you to. See, Farney's been up to Mozambique and grabbed yeah. it's a few coconuts. Yeah, the kids have broken <laughs> up and I promise you they opened up a few coconuts. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier, instead of the almonds, you can yeah. also add a lot of coconut yeah, in there. Yeah, I bought a few. Say again, you yeah. said? Sorry? You mentioned earlier, so, instead of the almonds, you can also just add some coconut. Yeah. If you Absolutely. want to have a nut-free curry. What are you trying to achieve with that roti now that you're putting in that frying pan? We when do you know nonifying this wrap. Nonifying it, but when do you know <laughs> when it's been nonified? What's your... I'm just going to see when it's cooked. Is it getting crispy? Is it getting crispy? crispy? Yeah, it's just going to get a little bit brown. Golden yeah. brown. Mm. Okay. And the batter is, of course, just adding extra um, moisture yeah. to it. So mm. it has that, that softness. And with this dish, you can actually go to one of the Asian shops in the corner and you can buy yourself, like 30, 40 bucks, you buy yourself a big pack of rotis already done. Already done, yeah. It's not, uh, it's, then you it's just heat it up. And we've done it a few days back. Mm. It's fantastic. Nearly there, then we can make But the naan, and I wish we could have done a naan with raisins or something. Mm. I mean, the Pakistanis specialize in those naans. Yes, Oof, yes, they yes. They are fantastic. Yeah, I often find that it's quite an art of making those naans. Oh, that looks beautiful. You know, Allah bought it all because I'm not sure to feel. I want to try with it too. If you don't mind using the same spoon. No, I don't mind, I don't mind. You've been to all other. We're about seven minutes in it's with amazing. this curry. You can eat that just by itself. Oh, yes. I'm you, I'm sure there's even, there's probably there. mm. Can you taste the ginger coming through? The ginger, the nuts, the whole mixture. You know what's important here? The people mustn't be scared of all the rituals that we've gone through. You buy those korma bags. Yes. It's got everything already included. You just do the onions a little bit about and then you start. Yes, it's it true. It makes it so it's much true. easier, doesn't it? So much easier. It's going to cut it down by 70%. And with your travels, traveling into Asia and stuff like that, did you, did you actually bring some of this back and you started yeah. cooking like this at home? We actually searched. You're I'm, I'm not lying to you. We searched for about six, seven years to find a korma dish. You know where I found it? I found it in the, in the Asian, um, uh, in Fortsburg, in the uh, Oriental movies. Plaza. Mm. Mm. I went to a corner restaurant and I was selling korma. Yeah, yeah. And I said, this is the stuff that I had in England. Yeah, yeah. Not in Pakistan, yeah, yeah. in England. More in England than in Pakistan yeah. for that matter. And, um, and that's where I started searching. Uh, and those people said, you can find korma, pasanda, uh, korma masalas yeah. in the Asian shops. And that's when the whole that's process started. When I realized we can do it at home ourselves. Because you're always worried about where you're going to get all this stuff and what you need to buy and how much you need to get. Right and if you buy the package or the little grinded stuff, I mean, it's so much easier. But Chef Amaray showed us that you, to, Ooh, she's not, like it doesn't matter the, the amount that you put, you just uh, mix it and all in together. The curry spice. Yes, I think it's, a, it's definitely a personal preference. Yeah. So the stronger you want the curry, the more spice you can yeah. add. Okay. Um, and this yellow curry spice is really mellow, so you okay. can really add quite a bit to make it super fragrant. I've seen some of the korma sometimes with a reddish color. What do they do to get that? Um, what kind of curries are they? Do they just put a little bit of, what do you call the, the spices that just makes it? Paprika. It paprika. paprika. Do they put a bit of capri, paprika in it? Paprika, definitely a chili spice. Okay, that's, that's yeah. good. Okay. Quite a bit of chili spice. <laughs> and then you've I got your... So what color is a vindaloo? A vindaloo, yeah, yeah, vindaloo, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you've got your Durban curries that are quite tomato based curries. It isn't as creamy, so they, they sure, really like work like with a lot of tomato. I get them not going for Am a I third one. Going for a third one just because we can. This sauce is just cooking away. I think away. what we're seeing here, uh, Chef Amaray, I mean, we saw it yesterday with some of the, 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 the meals that you did. And it's about life. It's all about preparation. If you prepare correctly, it actually becomes really easy to do. 100%. Um, That's true. Let's. I just broke a piece of chicken open there. And look uh, how quickly it's, it's well just cooked. Cooked, very so soft, very anymore. tender. Yes, yes. Not we definitely we, well, don't how, want. How long was it? About seven minutes. Yes, ten I'll, minutes max. I'll definitely push it for five minutes extra just to make sure it's cooked. Uh, we all don't of want them are cooked. <laughs> yes. Um, but now the the sauce's flavour is really cooked into that chicken, so it's great to be tasting the henwell chicken in this this specific mm. curry. Why don't I had a look around and and. Everybody knows there's a crew normally involved in this kind of thing. But the dribbling. Yeah, that we see from our cameraman. Uh, <laughs> it's well, impressive. It's all dribbling. <laughs> Body chisel, mate. Yeah, 100%. Cheers, mate. Cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs> I think it's time for me to taste that sauce. 
Yeah, it's mm. going to be interesting. And, yeah. and, and, and the difference is the frame of reference. My frame of reference at my house yep. is going to be sweet for the kids. Yep. Yes. Every house has got a different frame of reference. They work but what else do you use as a sweetener? Coconut. Mm. Proper coconut. That's why I was searching right. for a coconut die, downstairs. Die. If it, die grind it. With other words, it says you have cook and 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 it's good. Good. Then come my here. So you actually take the actual raw coconut, not the milk, the raw coconut, that and grind. put it in and grind it. And so. yeah, you kind of buy it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the kids tell that they think about you buy it like that. Yeah, just yeah. To, but they they uh, that makes it sweeter. And then obviously chutney is the easier way. Brain shaker. Promise you, brown sugar works like a bomb. Mm. It, it sweetens it if you haven't got chutney. Actual fact, normal sugar uh, can do the business. Mm. But it's obviously a lot uh, healthier to use, to the, use the coconut. coconut. Yeah. Yeah. It's a healthier option. Yeah, absolutely. What you're saying, brain is in brain. For skill in the brain brain huh? yeah. Funny, you also mentioned your rice. You do something special for the kids. Yes, what I rice. do with the rice is I, um, not, not me, the missus really. I'm taking <laughs> a lot of credit here. I think <laughs> you guys can see that there's a bit of lies in between. Um, the reality is we want to get some greens into the rice. Yeah. Some, some uh, vegetables yeah, yeah. and small pieces of vegetable within the rice gets them that vegetable so like and stuff like peas that. and stuff or mm. obviously smaller pieces and it doesn't bother the kids mm. they're That's not going to say oh, we don't want to eat it uh, the part rice actually part becomes of part of the, part of the mm -hmm. all the vitamins that you want to try and get into the meal yes, yes, and that yes. works like a bomb I mean yeah. that's a way to get grease yeah. into the system if they don't like it. luckily that's my true. kids are Quite happy to eat the vegetables. Yeah, no, you but think that's about, a way to do it. And we're talking about chicken, the korma here. I mean, the chicken itself it comes with so many different vitamins. I mean, the zinc, mm. your choline, stuff like that, neuro neurotransmitters that are very important for the young, young developing Absolutely. brain. So. Well, it's the Absolutely. same as the chicken. It's also full of B12. That's great for brain development. Yeah. Interesting chicken, protein-based, is what, as a sportsman. Yeah, we, used to, we lived on it. Uh, we lived mm. on it. Yeah. And obviously, you read me too. Yeah. But uh, that protein base of eggs, chicken and, and, uh, and, and the other meats are so important yeah, well, for you. Yeah, the thing with chicken is you can get it lean, you know, so That's it's, true. especially when you, you know, it's very important. Mm. Yeah. Funny, you can go ahead now and start dishing up our rice in that plate. So we're going to do only one plate? Yes, let's start with one. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I'm into that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> and you know what I also do? Ooh, look at which this. Which I can take the credit with in my house. I take five or six plates and I put it in the microwave. Yep. And put it in a two minute and you've got warm plates. Warm plates. And that makes it so much easier, especially in the winter, to mm. keep the system warm. Mm. We're going to do a, a, a healthy portion. A healthy portion. All right. We're going to do this first and then we're going to find an open space. Add some more salt, funny, just for, like for extra yeah, love. I agree. I agree with that. I'm always happy with more salt. The wine is mine. I want now the one that the most drink. He's already filled up a few times. Oh, has right? he? Well, just by the way, Mink. No, he has it. Let me show a opskip lepel cry. I can see. Mm-mm. All right. But the social side of the wine is around the I can see. Yes. I can see why people do it. So why don't you dish do this? some curry there, and then we'll finish it with our coconut or almonds. Yeah, the little sprinkle. Yes. I love that In, yellow color oh, over the rice. And the kids absolutely love it too. And mm. soek jy opgedeelte wat daar minst en dan gooi ons hy slide daar na hoekie. Absolutely. Mm. You know what we do with our salad at home? This kind of grind it. We, we do the, we do the little bit of, of, of um, uh, vinegar, but we also put sugar with yes. the vinegar to make it sweet. Mm. Yes. Mm. And it's beautiful. And yes. you actually get the kids afterwards to, to suck up the juice out of yeah, the that's great. from a spoon. Yes. There you go, like that. Now you think you sprinkle it in our book? Which one do you prefer? The coconut? Yeah, the ice fine. The coconut. Yeah. Absolutely. You could serve that at a world class restaurant. Absolutely. Honestly, yeah. that is fantastic. And I'll put a bit of stinkhoga up, but stinkhoga I coriander. That's right, that's right. That's where you right drop the ball and uh, <laughs> downstairs when you did the oh, trolley dish. I love it, yes. Does your husband like it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it on biltong. The seed. And then the we added the extra um, chutney. Yeah, we added the extra chutney there. The yes. problem is with the chutney, if you put it on the table with the kids, they'll put that on top. And we 
take it away. Yes. Mm. Mm. They don't need it. Mm. They will just go overboard. Mm. Anybody. I mean, you oh, make wonderful delicious. food and they and throw then a lot of chutney put... over it or yellow pink sauce. Are you going to do, do a wrap? You're going to do... No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, that's yeah, another way. Yeah. By the way, oh, a, you beautiful way, way. a beautiful way is to, is to do two of these different dishes mm. with a lot of these wraps and you, and you roll wraps and you don't eat rice. Yes, yes. And the kids obviously serve the little lines and roll it up. Pancakes. Yeah, normal yeah. pancakes. We eat that with normal pancakes. Oh, that's delicious. And people love it. Yes, savory fun. Thank you. It's all about presentation, huh? I learned from Amaray. You've learned. Thanks for learning. That is amazing. That's fantastic. <laughs> well well done. Done. What, I, what I can just, from a, to sum this all up, this, I believe, as a, as a parent and father, is a very complicated dish that I would believe that I'd never be able to do. Yes. You guys have just shown how simple this is to do. And obviously, it's going to be in the Foul Play cookbook. And I think it's, it shows this, this is absolutely world class. And you just showed how simple it is. Yes, yes. So, congratulations. And as I said earlier. And Chef Amarain. And Chef Amarain. <laughs> yeah, she's obviously colouring in. Mickey. But the reality is that, that you can do this 70% easier if you just buy the little thing. Yeah, and I'm I'm very excited to taste how the hen will if it's going to be soft enough in this curry. I think that's the the hero. Are you the specialist, to be honest? Thank I think you. let's everyone. I think everyone needs to have a little bit of a taste. I think so. And I think we'll just roll it with Minky and then Chef Amaray and okay. then sports class afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish it. We'll okay, finish it. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Let's have a taste. Mm. Oh. Mm. And the beer, what? I see no for you. You think that you still have the ice cream? Yeah, that's a yeah. That's my point. Fine. That's a real. Would it is never, more this, is, like this is one of the dishes I think more. I always thought we could never do. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. The chicken yeah. is very tender. Absolutely. Nicely that, that's cooked. a softer than pork. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. And it was only in there for like 12, 13 minutes. Mm. How how lacquer? Like if you can sit down and have a meal. Dead. At your house and say that I'm willing to pay for this <laughs> in a restaurant. Great. No, well done. Well done. That is Thank you for your recipe, honey. <laughs> and you're not joking. The, the, the poor cameramen that are sitting here, mm. they just wanted to get a bit of piece of this yeah. action as well. But this is this is what it was. All the smells coming through from the kitchen. It's what the is, texture with the, the nuts and the. It's the whole texture and the taste. It's great. I can oh, really I'll taste, taste the. Cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs> this falls into the category of a chef's recipe. Alright? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Congratulations. Good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. England, England chickens, chickens, we, we rule, rule the roost. roost.